Good evening, everyone. It's Wednesday night. That means it's time for another Facebook Live. We're going to play with this brand new butterfly set. Um, this is fabulous. If you know me, you know I love butterflies, so I was so excited to hear this was coming out. Um, and it is now available for everyone. So I gave you a sneak peek last week, and at that point it was just available for Stampin' Up! demonstrators, and now it's available for everyone. Good evening, Susie. Thank you for joining me. All right, I'm going to give everybody a minute to get on while I get this shared to my group in case somebody is looking for it there. So hang on one minute while I do that. Hopefully my laptop will cooperate tonight. Hey, Lanita. Hey, buddy. Welcome, ladies. Lanita loves butterflies, too, just like me. Okay, let's get this video shared and we will get started. We got lots to do tonight for this one. It's not hard at all, but I didn't do any of the die cutting ahead of time so you could see um, all of the cool stuff that comes with this suite. And I'll show you that in just a minute. We're almost there. <clears throat> Should be shared over there so other people can see it if they're looking in the group. All right. So this is something new that is just became available. Hey, Allison. Um, yesterday or today for customers. I can't remember if it was the second or the third. But let me show you what all you can get. Hey, Michelle. So there's the butterfly. Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. And this is, I have it on my Stamparatus, so I'll show it to you in a minute, but it is one big stamp. This is all connected. I am seriously considering getting another set and cutting them apart so that I can have some all together like this and some that are separate. I'm seriously considering that. <clears throat> the die set is fabulous also. Let me show you this. We're going to use one of these. So you have one big die that cuts out all of your butterflies at once, which this is not obviously to scale. And like I said, the stamp sets in my stamp apparatus. But you stamp them once, cut them once, and you've got six butterflies ready to go. So that's fabulous. There are some little textured, like these create texture. This actually cuts out little rectangles there's a couple of little butterflies and then there are all these I call them overlays so you could stamp um, your butterflies and then overlay them with this or you could use I'll show you the paper here in just a minute you could cut out the designer series paper which is fabulous with this big die and then cut these out with black or vellum and just overlay them over this so a lot of fun things you can do with this. All right, let me get this put back. We're going to use this in a minute, but until then, I'm going to put it back on here so it doesn't get lost. All right, so I'll set that aside for the moment. And let me show you the paper. So the paper is six by six. It comes in a package. I've pulled out one of each sheet so you can see what they look like. So gorgeous colors, and if you didn't know, the colors are all listed on the back of your designer series paper, and this has got a bunch of colors. I'm not going to read them all to you. If you want to know what they are, let me know and I can tell you. But um, So one side of these papers is gorgeous butterflies, and some kind of, I don't know if you'd call it watercolor or whatever, behind them. I mean, they're just beautiful especially if you like butterflies. These ones you could even cut out individually if you wanted some little ones, but this is my favorite. Look at this. This, guess what cuts this out? That same die that cuts out the stamp will cut out all six of these butterflies. It's cool. And then on the other side, I love how Stampin' Up! does this. So if, if you are tired of using butterflies or you have um, a card that you don't want to do butterflies on, then they always put nice just patterns on the on the other side 
And these are kind of, I guess you'd call them watercolor. They're really pretty. I know, isn't that gorgeous, Juanita? I mean, these are absolutely beautiful. I know Calypso Coral is in here. Bermuda Bay is in here. Um, sorry, that might have been a little close. I don't know if that might be um, Gorgeous Grape or Highland Heather. I think Mint Macaron is in here. I know Poppy Parade, Melon Mambo. Lots of colors. So really gorgeous paper. And then the other paper that you can get... Oh, I should have had this unopened. One moment. And it's 12 by 12. I'm just going to pull out a piece, though, to show you. But you get two 12 by 12 pieces in in the package. And it's, they call it natural, and it's it's got a little bit of graining to it. I don't know if that shows up on camera very well or not, but it is. It's a thin paper, but it's like wood grain. And the other side is just a, I don't know, just kind of a pattern. But isn't that gorgeous? And that's what we're going to use tonight in this card. That's what I used here. And I just stamped on it. And it gave it some nice texture. So, what you need to know, the stamp set, I think I might have mentioned this, the stamp set and the dies will be in the next annual catalog. This paper will not. This is only available while supplies last. So if you want any of this designer series paper or the natural paper, you want to go ahead and get it now because it's it's not going to be in the annual catalog. The butterflies stamp set and the dies will carry over to the annual catalog, but this will not, which makes me very sad because I love this paper. I'm going to have to buy some more. I've almost used up a whole package already because it's so pretty. All right, let's get stamping. Let's get busy here. All right, so... I have lots of pieces and parts. We are going to start with our Stamparatus. And I did soft suede. And I'm actually going to turn it this way. Because I have a shelf right here. And I, I, so I can't open this out all the way. And so when you're using Stamparatus, it helps to put a case underneath of it. And that just gives it some stability while you're <clears throat> inking it up. So I have a piece of that natural paper right here. Helps if I squeeze it right in. And I've got my soft suede. And so, and they're not all going to fit on this paper. This is, and I'll put all the dimensions on my blog like I always do, five and a quarter by four. But I'm going to go ahead and ink them all up so I don't have to worry about where it's going to stamp and where it's not. All right. So I strategically placed my magnet there so that it could hold my paper, but not get in the way of my stamps. And so I'm just gonna rub this all the way across. And then if it doesn't stamp well enough, well, it did pretty good. Maybe a little bit more right there. Then because I'm using the Stamparatus, I can put it back down. There we go. Oh, right there right up on his body. That's better, oh, right here. See, every time I open it, I find another spot. That looks good. All right, so now I'm going to take this out and I haven't tested it. Because it's a little slick, it might take it just a couple minutes to dry. So I'm just gonna set this piece aside while we do some more work. And I'm gonna clean my stamps. Grab my chamois because we're going to do some more stamping with these. So I'm just taking my chamois and cleaning it all off, leaving it there. That looks pretty good. Okay, now because I'm going to color this butterfly with blends, I want to use my Memento ink. Now, your, um, the butterflies, this is I think a five by six piece of white. And I made, I don't know if you can see it. Let me hold this up a little bit. I made another little mark in the corner 
to show me where I wanted to put this white piece. So I'm going to put it there. And this, it doesn't really matter if it's straight because you're gonna cut these butterflies out. So if it's a little wonky, it's fine. You just wanna make sure that it looks like they're all gonna fit on there. Now, I'm only using this one, but while I'm stamping this, I might as well stamp them all and cut them all out, and then I'll have five more butterflies to use sometime for something else. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Memento Black, and I'm gonna ink these all up. And this one we may have to do a couple times to be sure we get nice black images. And you can see this Memento is a, it's, um, I don't know, it's a stiffer pad. So that's why I'm kind of twisting it as I'm inking it up to be sure I get all that ink in there. All right, <clears throat> now let's stamp, boop. That's all right, I dropped it, but it'll be fine. So now again, I'm just gonna rub this back and forth. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too much. Now I have seen, I want to try this. I haven't tried it yet. I saw somebody um, do a video on YouTube where they stamped this on white with like Bermuda Bay. Hey, Jackie. And, yep, I need some more right there. Um, and then they took the Wink Stella right after they stamped it and just kind of colored and it kind of bled that ink in. It was so pretty. So I need to try that sometime. But tonight we're gonna color these with blends. So that's why we're using the Memento Black. Let's see how we're doing. Yep, still need a little bit right here. Sometimes I have to get my heel after it. Make sure this big one's good because that's the one we're going to use tonight. It's looking pretty good. Now, I could probably ink it again and do this one, but tonight I'm not going to just for the sake of time. But our, our big one, he looks pretty good. I think he's good. So, now we can put this away. We'll clean that later. Set that aside. And now we're gonna bring in, actually, I'm gonna finish my stamping first. I'm going to put away my memento ink before I get everything in there because when I get the big shot out, then I can cut everything. So this card or this um, stamp set does not have any um, sentiments. So I pulled out my itty bitty greetings, which has tons of sentiments. And we're going to use many thanks. And I'm going to stamp it with my soft suede just on a scrap, again, doesn't matter. It could be upside down even, if it's straight or not, because we're gonna die cut a tag. Not straight, doesn't matter. Okay, that is all of our stamping. So now I'm going to set that aside, get this out of the way for just a minute. So one of my downlines, Sandra, she gave me this, um, I don't know, it's a non-stick thing, and it is fabulous. Oh, let me move you up just a little bit so you're not sitting right on top of the big shot. There we go. And it is fabulous for the big shot because it keeps it from moving while I'm trying to cut something. So we're going to have... Our base plate, the number two, a number three. I have ordered some new ones of these because these are getting well worn. We're going to take our butterfly. Let me grab the die again. So we're gonna take this big, make sure I'm in the frame. This big die, and you can always put um, washi tape on it once you get it lined up. I'm going to try and be careful. So you want to set it down 
and then I hold it like this so that when it goes through it doesn't shift until I get it started. And then once I get it started, then I can just crank it through. And now I have beautiful butterflies that are ready to be colored. Let me get this out of the way. Look at all those pretty butterflies already. Aren't they pretty? Okay, that out of the way, that out of the way. Let's move them aside. And we have to cut our tag now. And this is, it's left over from, it's a silicone mat. Thank you, Lanita. It's left over from a holiday catalog a couple of times ago. It is called Ornate Frames, but it has this cute little tag. So that's what I used. And I'm just going to line that up so it looks like I stamped it straight. Hopefully. That looks good. Again, carefully put that on. Hold it and run that through. All right, and then we can get this. We can get our big shot out of the way somewhere. I don't know. I'll put it on the floor for now. Like I said, I had a lot of stuff, but I wanted you to see how nicely those butterflies cut. Okay. Put that die away before I lose it. And we need our big swallowtail. There's our tag. And then the other pieces of the card are I've got some soft suede and some um, Calypso coral. But let's color our butterfly before we finish putting this together. Looks like I cut that a little crooked still. You know, I always give y'all whichever one is the prettiest one, so. All right, I used just my Calypso Coral, excuse me, my Calypso Coral blends. So I'm going to take my light. Looks like I need some new ones, don't I? And just color the whole wing. I can't remember if I put that on my last order or not. If I didn't, I need to. And then take the dark and put it here. And then you just take the light and just blend it in. And then you just repeat that. If I can't make this work, then we will, yeah, this is probably not gonna work. I'll have to get some more. Maybe the other end. Let's see if the other end works better. Yeah, it'll take a little bit longer, but it'll work. So again, I'm coloring light. And then I'll take the dark. And starting at the body, just color it out. Just however far you want. Go a little farther on the bottom. And then take your light and just kind of blend it. All right. I've got two more wings to do. Well, I really hope I ordered some of these. I know I ordered some blends in my last order. I think I got these. My light's about out. All right, take your dark again. And blend, I like to do the light first, then add the dark and then blend it. People do it all different ways. Whatever works for you is just fine. All right, so let's get this last wing. Hopefully we can convince it to last. For this last wing. Okay. 
It's much faster if you can use the brush end on this big space like this, but this works. And do our dark. Now we're done with our dark. And take our light and just blend that. So then you don't have the harsh line. And then I just took this light soft suede because that's what I've been using in my card and just colored his body. And I didn't do any blending here. There's enough um, dark from the stamp that you don't need anything else. All right, so there's our butterfly all colored. Now we are ready to put all this together. So we're going to take our stamped piece is hiding over here and put it on our soft suede and I cut this so there's just a narrow oh I should have probably put you down a little closer again huh I should have done that before I was doing all that coloring sorry about that um, so there's just a narrow um, border of that soft suede. And then I used linen thread. And I wrapped it around here twice. And then I'm going to leave myself some big tails because I'm going to attempt to tie a bow. And let's see, I forgot to write down how much this is. So let's see how long this is. Well, I've got it cut. I'm just get my ruler and measure it real quick so I can put that on my dimensions so you know how much you need. So there's 12. So it looks like about 24 inches. And that will give you plenty, should give you plenty to tie a bow. And I did not try and um, thread this through my tag. You'll notice the tag has a hole in it. I didn't try and thread it through. So I'm going to... When it's thin like this, I like to tie a knot first. That's easier and it will hold it while I'm tying my bow. So tie a knot and then tie my bow. And that just helps, makes it a little bit easier. Then you can adjust it, make the loops a little smaller. Okay. And then you can just kind of adjust this however you want. I like to kind of split them out a little bit so you can see the two um, pieces nicely and then we'll put this on our card base so this is a calypso coral card base and because I did a narrow um, border here then it leaves a little bit more of that calypso coral showing and then I took my tag and I just tucked it underneath that bow. So I probably should have put it over just a little bit, but that'll be all right. And then it looks like it's tied on there, but it's not really. And if you wanted to make sure it looked even better, you could put a glue dot on there and glue that down. And then the last piece, oh, I think I might have stamped that in soft suede actually, because this looks much darker. So you'll have to tell me which you like better. But for the last piece, we will put some dimensionals. I'm going to just put them up here on the wings on our butterfly and just set him over that. So there you go. So there it is with the memento black and there it is with the soft suede. All right. Thank you, ladies. Um, I'm 
I think that's all. Oh, I was going to show you. So in my um, team meeting, we made some more cards. I haven't, I'm not going to put these on Facebook because they use a set that you can no longer get. But if you had a party that was 300 or had an order that was 300, you got the punch party set. And that's what I use for all the sentiments. <laughs> Susie likes them both. Lenita likes the dark one. Good, good. Um, but it's a good showcase of the the butterflies and the designer series paper. So you could put any sentiment you wanted here. The rest of this is just fine. Um, so all of these are the same layout. There's a vellum circle, one of the butterflies that were die cut out of that designer series paper, the opposite side. So this is the same designer series paper. I just cut it and flipped one side. Um, the natural, a little strip of the natural, and then whatever sentiment you want. So this is just kind of showcasing some of the paper, and that's why I wanted to go ahead and show them to you tonight. So there's that one. There's that with the yellow, and then some kind of orangish. That has the little tiny butterflies there. And that one. So just to show you how pretty that paper is and those butterflies that you die cut are gorgeous. I just love them. I love this whole thing. I'm gonna have to buy some more of the paper before it's gone. Okay, that is it for tonight. Um, let me know if I can help you with anything. Michelle likes the soft suede. Yeah, I kind of like, I think I kind of, it kind of blends more together to me. I mean, that's pretty too, but yeah. All right, so everybody that commented will be in the drawing for one of these. And I will do that on Sunday. All right. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. And I will see you next week. Bye.